couple minutes. Alright, just gotta give it a couple minutes for it to get on stream. Should I like look at you or should I look at the camera? You can look at whatever you like. <laughs> Like Markiplier? Actually, I do. I love Markiplier. I was, uh, I don't know, uh, I've seen Prey, his name is Slot. No, that one's just scary. Well, it's not too scary, but they need to be careful. I checked his name, I know that a lot of people are going to be scary. Oh, yes. I do. I do. I do. your name rock um i turned down the music so loud so i think it's actually i think it's actually oh never mind i think that's better is that better okay turn it down all right three minutes in okay so i think i said earlier uh this is your first time playing the oculus right yes right okay and for those of you that probably weren't, didn't check on our Facebook page last week, Tornado Tower went to an event called uh, Girls' Day at the Tech. It is at the Tech Museum of Innovation in San Jose. And we took our VR game there, Tornado Tower, which you'll get to play. Found out something that little kids, <laughs> a lot younger than, younger than 12, cannot fit in the headsets. And it's not, it's not our fault, that's just uh, Oculus, um, the, the people who made your headset that you're going to try today I was more intending for teenagers and up with their headsets so that's a really cool play test we did the kids had fun which I think was great and I hope you have fun today um, and just in case you guys missed the very beginning this is Keja she's our special guest uh, speaker today for our kids twitch stream special and my name is Kelsey Kaufman I'm your host and producer for Tano Tower and here's our newest game development. All right, are you ready to play? Okay, let's put that headset on. And I'm gonna hand you your controllers. You're gonna turn off, I think the music's turned off. Here you go. Stop, okay. 
Do, 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 do. Are you okay? Yes. All right, you probably see some darkness, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, and if you guys can't hear us, go ahead and tell me, and I'll uh, turn, I'll make sure we speak a little louder, or I'll push the mic closer to one of us. No problemo. Okay, so you're going to see it lag for just one moment, okay? And the reason why you're going to see it lag because I got to make sure everyone else can see what you're playing, right? Yep. Okay. And she can't see what I'm doing, but <laughs> never fret. You will see it soon. <laughs> and come on. Image there. Okay, should we stop lagging? Are you good right now? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna hand you your controllers. And for this safety, I am gonna put the wristband on her. I do not want anything bad like being prone. <laughs> okay, here's your right hand. Okay, there you go. Good, here's your left hand. All right, so yep, you're just gonna go ahead and play. If you really get stuck, I'll be right here. I'm going to answer any questions and ask you questions during the gameplay. If you guys have any questions about the new development on Tornado Tower, which you're about to see, uh, there's a couple new iterations to Level 1 Puzzle, and, and Keja will get to play that. And we always do the tutorial, Keja, which you're going to go into, or Level 0, because we want to make sure you learn the mechanics. Just like any game, we want to make sure your players understand their mechanics. It's always better if it's naturally... Uh, well known for the player, but sometimes, especially with the Oculus Touch, which is the controller she's using, it might be a little hard to uh, pick it up right away if you're not used to something like a PlayStation uh, controller or Xbox controller. Looks like you got jumping pretty good, huh, Keja? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah. Well, saw a little something. So the wall grab uh, animation is technically still under development, but at least we have something. And people like the wall grab now because it definitely saves you from just That was quick. How do you know how to do that? I just look for the buttons. You look for the button. How do you know the button was right there? I don't know. You don't know? You're just playing around? Yeah. She's good. <laughs> this says press like A to jump, so I just look for the lumps and oh. press it. <laughs> okay. What's up, Kaufman R? Hey, back to you too. All right, you got something. Let's see. All right, I see something. What are you gonna do with it? I don't know. You don't know? Hmm. I think there's I something there. Move right controller, hold R trigger, and drop it. Okay, right. All right. Well, you made a bubble. <laughs> That's okay. What does the bubble do? <laughs> I'll tell you in a little bit. Let's see if you get your win. All right. Just trying. Go ahead, take a couple of guesses. If you really get stuck, I'll tell you, but let's see if you can figure it out. And if you've all noticed, our wind tunnel does have a new uh, texture to it. See, it looks more wind-like now. Huh? Maybe like a tornado, even. Uh, okay, I have no idea what to do. Okay, so try and um, try and make that little wind tunnel you made, right? You, you tr press the trigger and move it. Okay. Go and see how far you can move it. You can move your hand. It's an Oculus Touch, so you can move it. See, is that nice? Yeah. All right, so try, when you make your big wind segment or your wind tunnel, go ahead and try and jump into it and see what happens. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, something happened. What else can you do? Well, it looks like it doesn't like that way. <laughs> doesn't like me. Aw, don't say that. I think the wind spirit likes you. <laughs> Alright, so it is doing something. What and kind of businesses are you looking no, for? No, Siri. <laughs> Ignore Siri, I got a new phone today. Um, it's a really funny story. My, I had an iPhone 5C and it, it went, it tried to shut down and it was on a loading screen of shutting down for 10 hours. So I had to go to the 8th I had to go to the, the store today and get an iPhone 6S. I know there's a 7 and 8 coming out, but I don't really want the 7. I don't like the whole headphones thing, and the, I think the 6 is fine. So, it's still new to the phone, and Sari likes to talk to me more, I realize. Okay, so so make your, so you know you can move, 
You can make your wind tunnels anywhere in the level. Did you know that? No. Yeah, try moving your hand and make it over there. Oh, it's interesting. Okay. So make one in front of you, in front of your character, a little bit farther to the right. Move your hand more to the right. It's okay. And make, yeah, and then hold that button you're holding and then move it to the right. Good. And then let go and jump in it. Good. Whoa. All right. Now that you know how to use it, see if you can now get to the end of this tutorial. Mm. Okay, let's see. Mm. Yay! Yay! Actually, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, you got this. I believe in you, Keja. <laughs> And you died. <laughs> okay, I still believe in you. You're good. Okay, okay, you're fine. The wind. How do you feel when you died and you came in back? Did that little black trend, that black screen, kind of? Did it make Worry. you feel okay? I was like, no, I have to start over. <laughs> yeah, you do got to start over. <laughs> okay, let's try this. All right. Yeah. Very nice. Good job. Oh no. Oh, you're, you're you're pretty quick. Boy. Yay! Oh, you opened something. What does that do? I don't know. Let's go find out. Oh boy. Ooh, yeah. Yay! I went somewhere. <laughs> you are now officially in level one. So, Keisha, I'm going to ask you to look around. No! Oh. Oh, no? You don't want to look around? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Um, go ahead and look around. You can look 360. It means you can look a full circle in the level. Now, this level is still in development. Ooh, big blue. Oh, I know. <laughs> it is. Might be another win somewhere. Ah, let, let me go. No. <laughs> Maybe if I try okay, now this level is still under construction. This is another iteration of yeah, level yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me jump. And like I said, we're always changing levels. We're always trying to iterate on them. We always want to make better because it always comes down to how the players play. So, Keja, since you're technically playtesting the game, uh, when we see something happening, we might fix it next time. We're always doing new updates. Whoa. Oh. oh no, I was supposed to attack it. It, it shot you. Yeah, I got you. No. Okay, I guess I don't know if I'm supposed to fall. Let's try this. No, you don't no. know. Go and speak a little later, uh, a little louder, Keisha. Okay. 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 All right, she's going, she's ready. You just, you're gonna go kill that dude, right? You're gonna yeah, go after. To attack it. You want to do something really cool? No, leave me alone. We'll yes. do it next time. We'll do it next time. Oh. <laughs> Actually, no. I guess we could do it right now. Okay. Um, I want you to make a wind in front of you. Uh, well, a little bit more in front of you. How about um, like move your wind, move the wind spirit, that little blue cursor that you're moving t more to your right. Yes, and then go ahead and move, make a wind tunnel on an angle, like maybe a 45, yes, beautiful. And then that little boomerang that you've been killing enemies, um, sh pre uh, throw a boomerang in there. That's the wrong way. <laughs> Alright, do you see that? Yeah. Alright, Kaufmanar says, cool looking wind. Thank you, Kaufmanar. Uh, Anton, uh, Star Adub, our creative director, was fixing that, so this is hopefully, this is the final placement yeah. of the wind. Because the last time you saw the blue tunnels, which is what you were looking at, Keisha, those little blue tunnels, they were natural winds. Alright, so now that you know you can interact your boomerang with the wind, maybe you can do some cool ways to destroy your enemies now. Okay. And I had to tell you it because it's not in the tutorials yet, but don't worry, you guys will be uh, taught how to do the combination in the game eventually. <laughs> Thinking. Alright, Kaufman R says, I think I hear wind sounds. You are correct, uh, Kaufman R. We have implemented the wind tunnel sounds, which is what she's making. No. And we technically no. did make some for the bubble sound, but we decided to take it out because there's a couple of bugs we're still fixing on it. Um, and now I'll explain the, that little pink bubble you are making. So you know on your uh, your middle finger, you pro yeah, the little grip? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what that does... And that'll technically be in level three. 
which we're still playing for it, um, is it can slow you down on your speed as well as your enemies and your traps. So if you get stuck somewhere with an enemy or trap, you can use that little bubble uh, to slow down your enemies and you can get away from it or attack a lot sooner and it won't attack you. All right, uh, Tofu Clever. Oh, no, yeah, Tofu Clever. That's a cool name. Uh, I like the edge guard when you almost make it onto a platform. Much more forgiving. I definitely agree. When we didn't have the grab and ledge, it was not that forgiving. It was a lot harder, we noticed, on the gameplay. Yeah. But since we were able to do it finally, I find people do find a lot more forgiving and a lot easier to play the game. No. It's okay. <laughs> You're doing just fine. Uh-oh. This way. Uh -oh. I see something down there. Do you see it? Yes. Uh-oh. Please don't fall. <laughs> Please don't fall. <laughs> All right, well, let's... Yippee. Oh, no. But, oh. <laughs> Alright, and for those that are just coming to our Twitch stream right now, my name is Kelsey Kaufman. I'm the host and producer and level designer for Tornado Tower, which is no! the game you're seeing in development right now. My guest speaker is Keisha. Um, she is, it's our Twitch stream for kids special, so she's a 12 year old and she's from San Jose and she's first time playing the Oculus and she's gonna see if kids actually like our game and how much she will break it in our play testing. Because <laughs> if you won't hurt my feelings. You might hurt Anton's, but you won't hurt my feelings if you break it. Ooh, yes. nice. My God, she, you're pretty good. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, what happened? Uh, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Okay. So if you okay, guys notice the wind tunnels that she made, <laughs> you did die. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, when the wind tunnel she makes, you guys probably notice that there is a um, type of effect to it, right? It's a different. Uh, I don't want. It's not really art. It's actually a particle effect we use. And the natural wind tunnels, those little blue winds, they don't have one yet. So we might use the same um, particles for that. We may not. So uh, maybe that. Maybe you didn't think it was wind, and I wouldn't blame you, <laughs> Acacia, if you didn't think it was. But it's supposed to be natural wind. So those you can always jump in. What? Well, if you don't die. <laughs> okay, what is the pink sphere again? Uh, Ragu Rook says. And the pink sphere again is what we call the bubble or jelly. Anton likes to call it the jelly, I like to call it bubble. Pretty much, um, when you activate the pink sphere or the bubble on an enemy, a trap, or on the character itself, the adventurer, you will slow down the speed. So here, go ahead and... Oh, well, careful. <laughs> So go ahead and put a pink bubble on that fist somewhere. Okay, um, go ahead right now. Oh. Alright, come on. So you notice it kind of slowed down. Uh, it was kind of quick. And when you leave it, it goes a lot faster. Now go ahead and make a bubble on you and try and jump in it. Try and jump. See? Whoa. Yeah. So it slows down the speed. And that we are hoping to introduce more in level 3. Right now we just we have it on the controller. We're testing it out to see how people like our bubble or jelly effect. It's another wind mechanic we want for the wind spirit. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> how you doing? It took me too far. Took you too far? Yeah. Oh boy. Um, so how do you feel so far? I feel good. You I feel dying. You feel too? <laughs> yeah. How's your stomach and head? Good. Good. I don't feel nauseous at all. All right, that's good. And I always ask that, especially since she has never played on an Oculus before. She, you told me you played the mobile, right? Yes, on the, the Samsung. Mobile. On the Samsung. All right, those are definitely a lot cheaper. <laughs> it's like uh, they're not as pricey as the Oculus or the Vive. Uh, so. So Keisha, since uh, since this is a third person game, which means you get to see your character. Um, do you find that kind of weird for a virtual reality game that you don't get to play as the character? You only see you yeah. kind of you do. Um, so uh, when you play a virtual reality game, you expect to be able to, you know, see yourself and what you're mm -hmm. doing with your hands and stuff. So but it, it's still yeah. cool that you can look around, and see what's ahead of you and stuff, ah. rather than like a two D game on like Xbox and you can't see ahead of yourself until you get there. That's a very really good ob observation. Yeah, it is a little weird being, being a third person game. All right, so I guess if you're bouncing off, oh, snap. <laughs> oh, she, she's clever. You went against the wind with another wind tunnel. How sneaky. 
Oh, oh no! <laughs> Careful with that one. That, I mean, that one, that one rolls at you. That one will roll at you. That's another enemy you guys probably saw. Um, it's a it movie. Like a mouse. Yeah, it does look like a mouse. <laughs> so we have a. So we might see a couple enemies in here that we put in. You, you originally saw the stationary eyeball, the one that's on the little hand. Eh, right? Got your head. Eh. And it shoots eyes. Ooh. So the one that she just died from is actually a moving eyeball. So it will yeah. walk. It'll kind of. Right now, I guess it rolls around. <laughs> it's the best way to explain it. Oh. But yeah, it'll do the same thing, Keisha. It will kill you. Now your boomerang, if you go ahead and shoot your boomerang without the wind, just go ahead and start shooting it. What do you notice? It kind of, can you move it anywhere else? Or, or is that it? Is that, the only, just, is that the only direction you can move your boomerang in? Only left or right. All right, but. Unless I use the wind. Unless you use the wind. So it might be hard to kill that enemy with just a boomerang. Maybe with the wind. Oh boy. Well, maybe if you don't die, <laughs> we can get there. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, let's try this again. All right. Nope, that's the wrong way. It's okay, I think you're doing pretty good. Okay. I can't shoot myself too far. There is, um, we had one play, <laughs> we had one play tester come in and they're testing out my new level and, and, cause I have to iterate it still no matter what. There's always things to fix it. And <laughs> so he couldn't okay. see the, the platform to jump up and one of our as uh, one of our professors asked us he said he said you know is he able to get up there and i responded like well the kids were able to and uh people started laughing because you know an adult can't get up but a child could um which clearly you figured out pretty Whoa. quickly oh okay. that looks fun huh no no it doesn't fun it's stopping me it's oh hmm. how rude how rude that's a mean wind tunnel Oh, interesting. Okay, I have to avoid that. Hmm. Okay. All right. You can do it. I believe in you. Try to get up there instead. Yay! Okay, so, so Keisha, there are two different types of uh, players in the game. You have a, uh, yeah, what we call a jumper. People who jump and make one, and and another players are known as the strategizers. Uh, and um, I think you're, no. <laughs> I think you're more of a strategizer. And there's no wrong answer. There's no best player. We try our best to design, and that's why we iterate a lot, is to make sure both players um, are fair and equal in your level. So, so do you fair? Do you feel like the level's pretty fair to you? Do you feel like it's okay when you make your wind tunnels to get up to those platforms? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's not too hard, but it's not too like easy. Hmm. So you like a little challenge? Yes. That's good. That's good. No. Yes. I'm gonna try to make it too. No. 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 Let me go. What are you trying to get up to? That thing. Well, that's so, a pretty big place. I'm gonna go back down. <laughs> All right. You can go back down. <laughs> die. Okay. Oh. Well, you almost got it. <laughs> Oh wow, what's that? I have no idea. It's like a lamp. It is. But what's that under there? Did you see something? Did you guys see something? Hmm. Well, you're not looking at it now. You looked at it earlier. Look a little down. What is what that? What is that? I don't know. Maybe you should go try and find it. See if you can get to it. Oh boy. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> So I'm gonna take. So um, so I'm actually gonna make sure you go through some of the puzzles you'll see in this, and nice. All right, you shut that eyeball. What? Who's the boss? Okay. Okay. So let's try the wind there. Oh, oh that's boy. pretty smart. No. Oh. <laughs> almost. Almost. So you're right there. Hmm. Let's see if I can. Oh no, let's try this. Oh no. Almost, almost. No fair. Can you do like wall jumps? Like bounce off the wall? I don't know, let's see. <laughs> nope. I guess he doesn't do wall jumps. That's a pretty good, it's a pretty cool thing to probably add. Yeah. I'll make, we'll see if we can get it in there. We always want to do a little love with the game. Wall jumping yeah, would be awesome. a little bit higher, but not too high. 
Seems like it's too high up there. Guess it's too high. That could be true. Maybe you need another wind tunnel. Hmm. There might be one in this level to get. It's like right there. <laughs> All right, let's look around a little bit more, so yeah. you can go ahead and see if there's Seems other like stuff. Seems like the one the lowest platform. All right, it's pretty good observation. No, I can't go down any further. Do, 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 do. How do you feel going? Um, mm. I guess you need a little help on that one. <laughs> I see something over there. All right, let's go check that out. Let's see, do you hear? I don't know if there's any music in this level. I think we. No. No, there's no music in this level. Okay. But we do have a level one song, so. No problem. No, don't you? Oh. Facing the wrong way. Yep, you're facing. It looked like you got something of it, though. Okay, at least I'm higher now. Mm -hmm. I see that boxing's probably somewhere beneath me. Eh. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so tell me, um, so what do you, so what's your strategy? What, what is, what is your goal in the game, you think? What are you supposed to, to get do? get that box. <laughs> to get that box, okay. Think there's anything else you might want to get, or is it just, just the box? Maybe like, some type of portal or something to take me to the next level. Alright, that's a good one. Anything else you think you need to get? I don't know. I feel like I came down this way. Yeah, to the lamp. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I take it. <laughs> I know, he explodes a lot, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he explodes. Don't kill me. Okay. That was better. Eat the box, I found it. Okay. Well, if you can't reach it, maybe there's something else you need to reach it. Mm. Oh. That black thing. That is an interesting. Do you remember those black things in the last level? A little bit. What happened when you collected Ooh. them? It went bling. It went bling, yeah. Okay, let's see. I can't make a wind tunnel. Hmm. Oh, oh I got you got it. it. Okay. It says one out of five. What does that mean? That means I need five. <laughs> that means you need five. That's <laughs> four more. Let's see if I can go forward and get some more. I like your thinking. It's pretty good. <laughs> and you, so... So you said uh, you kind of like the science parts and technology. What do you think of oh, games? Because no. games is a, depending on where you look at it, it can also be a science branch, it can be an art branch, even no. film if you want. Uh, <laughs> you think this is a pretty cool field to get into? Yes. Yes. And what do you want to be when you grow up? I'm not sure. I'm not positive. What are you thinking? Like, what kind of, like, you have three, top three careers, you're like, I like that. Oh, Kaufman R asks, how old is the guest player? How old are you? I'm 12. 12 years old. You're almost a teenager, but less than your preteens. Yep, <laughs> a couple of months. And which grade are you in? I'm seventh right now. I'm going to eighth grade. Seventh to eighth. Awesome. I think my dad teaches 7th and 8th graders. He teaches history. Do you like history or is it boring? I don't like, I don't really like my history teacher to be honest. <laughs> uh, He's kind of, I don't know, he talks a lot about, about things that are off topic. Yeah. No. Okay. That happens. Some <laughs> teachers do that. Uh, Alright, so... Did you ever, did you want to get into technology or did you want to, you want to get into technology? Do you like more hands-on stuff like building? Like a, I kind of like more stuff on the computer. Oh, you like the software more. Oh boy, another foot. Right. Yes, uh, <laughs> people, a lot of people need programmers, especially um, with games. There's... No, don't kill me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was all so close to the checkpoint. Yeah, you're almost there. Oh, you know it's a checkpoint. That's good. No. How'd you know it was a checkpoint? Because it goes bling, and then when I die, I go back to it. So, obviously, Very clever. it's a checkpoint. <laughs> we had one person t who tested earlier today that thought it was a collectible. <laughs> and I'm like, well, that's interesting. Because of the little um, effect you see, the little bling you, you say. The little bling is a particle effect. Um, 
particle effects just kind of makes everything a little nicer, I guess I would say. Aesthetics. Okay, there's the foot. Mm hmm. Oh, you think it's, it, is it a foot? Well, it's kind of blurry, so it kind of looks like a foot to me. Wow, well, we're gonna get that foot. <laughs> what is it? It is actually a fist. Okay. Like with an arm, or actually with well, a wrist. That, towards the bottom, it looks clear, but it, else I can just sort of see the shape of things, mm -hmm. not really the actual features of it. I see. And? But it's not bad enough for me not to be able to play the game. Okay. All right, that's good. I like how you're testing out your mechanics. Okay. Oh, ooh. no, it stopped me. Oh, well, maybe you can slow it down, but maybe you should place it somewhere else. And for those that are just come in right now, my name is Kelsey Kaufman. I'm the host and producer for Taneo Tower. My guest speaker today is Keisha. It's a kids special Twitch stream. She's 12 years old, interested in technology and the sciences. And it's her first time playing on the Oculus and on our development game. Tornado Tower. I think you're doing pretty good, huh? Yes. Yeah, I think it's her first time also using the Oculus Touch. Uh, you guys can't really see in the video too much, but it's her little controllers that she uses. Um, which she uses to, yeah, there it is. Yeah, <laughs> she uses that to control her, the little blue cursors, the wind spirit, and also the character at once. So you do get to play two characters at once. No. What do you think of that? You get to play two characters at once. That's cool. Does it feel pretty natural or is it a little weird? <laughs> Well, so it's more like a, I don't know, more like a thing to interact with other objects. It's not mm -hmm. really that weird. <laughs> yeah, it definitely interacts a little bit more. You're not like pretty a good. sidekick. <laughs> I guess it could be a sidekick okay, too. Okay, the foot. Okay. Right. Okay. That yeah, works. you did it. Well, it looks like you got that checkpoint. Hmm. Yeah, so every time you come, whatever the newest checkpoint you choose, and you die, that'll, that's where you get to go. All right, be careful here. Right. Oh, don't oh. go too far. I'm trying to make it go towards up, like for an arc kind of thing. Ooh, that's pretty smart, making a little arc to save. Oh, very I'm good. I'm going straight because I know it threw me and then I fell and died. Very nice. Okay, another wind tunnel. Try a... Can you want to try something with a coconut tree? Sure. Put, try and put a wind over it and see what happens. Oh, the coconut. Oh my god, I fell! <laughs> yeah, we got coconut falling from a tree. Yay. You might not think that's a lot, but it's a lot for us to actually get wind environments going on. Yay. I think that's... See if you, if you do anything with the coconut, it might still be being worked on. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's all the coconut can do for now. Okay, now I have to go against the wind again. We'll see if you can go up that thing. Okay. Yeah. okay. There you go. Poof, thank God for the ledge, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you're just gonna... Yep, come on in it. Go ahead and look up. Um, if you can see your character. Alright. Yeah, you got a checkpoint! Oh! There's another what? ball! Oh snap! Can you get it? It's like you're trying so hard! Mm, yes! Yeah. Good job! Woo! Alright, two! <laughs> okay, I don't want to die, so I'm gonna... Oh, I might as well die. You might as well die? Well, I mean, oh, you got a I'll checkpoint. I'll just go the other way. Yeah. No! Oh! Ooh. Oh! Okay. Oh! That worked. <laughs> Alright. So where are the other three? No. I like how you like going against this wind tunnel. No, um, let's try this again. She's very clever. So she she really found a cool little no. <laughs> cool little thing in the game. I'll just go over it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some people will do that. <laughs> Alright, where is the other three orbs? Like I said, you can look around 360, it's okay. There's something, I don't know what that is, but it's something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this kind of looks similar to a previous area. You might have been here. I see a, a lit shrine no. or a lit torch. But I think you call them a torch. A lamp. A lamp, sorry. A lamp. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I don't think you've ever been up that area, though. 
I'm not sure. I don't remember ever seeing a coconut tree before. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, have you been there? The little... I don't know. Let's see if you can go there. I know you... Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so how do you know you can't make any wind, though? There's I something... It won't let me do it in the blue. Yeah. Okay. There is an indicator. Forward, do you... Have you ever noticed the indicator for how much wind segments you have? No, I don't really see it because it's like blurry. Well, of course. <laughs> is it too loose? Is your little headset too loose for mm, you? That must have been it. Seems yeah. like it's better now. Okay. I pulled it down a little bit. All right, just tell me and I'll try and fix it. So. But I gotta take a break for a bit. You gotta take a break? You going to a bathroom break or? Oh, I have to blow my nose. Oh, okay, I have to blow my nose. Yeah, okay, go ahead, sure. We'll talk. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, see, On my see. forehead now. My forehead. Oh, are you going to blow your nose? And I'll go ahead. Kaufman R. Ask, where are the green trees that appear and disappear? I'll just leave it on my forehead so you can still see it. Sure. Bit. Okay. So she, uh, so the trees are not in this level yet. We're just going, uh, we're just testing out the platforms on their level and height. So the tree that we have in is a palm tree, a, a coconut palm tree that's allowed to interact with the wind right now. And but the other aesthetic environment, such as the plants, the trees, the rocks, those are not in yet for this level. That'll be more towards the end of the level, um, end of the production of the level. And also depends uh, how fancy you want to get. We also do, do have buildings coming in. Uh, we have them. We just have to start implementing them and see how well they work with the level and do collisions on some of the areas on the buildings. And by collisions, I mean parts where you can jump on the buildings and not fall through. Because falling through would suck. <laughs> and it would not be fun. So. Okay. All right, she's coming back on. She's getting ready. You need any help? Are you good? I okay, think you. I yeah. Okay. Okay, so let's go this way. Much better. Oh, no. Much better. No, what did I do? No. Oh no! Just You're boomerang a little too soon. Hey, go oh. to your left. So you've really been to your left. Like keeps doing the boomerang. Well, keeps doing the boomerang, huh? All right, go up. Oh no! Go ahead and die again. <laughs> Actually, no, you don't have to die again. You can uh, go through that, that little natural wind tunnel. You can see the little blue. There you go. Okay. Alright, you're gonna jump to your left because you haven't really explored the left that much. Not up here, not the top tier. Yeah, this one you haven't really looked at. Alright, there you go. An orb! Yay, an Yay. orb! Yay! Look, there's an egg up there. Oh, there's something there. I wonder what it is. Let's see if a wind tunnel will help me. Oh, very smart. I don't know if I want to go down there or go up there. I don't think I can make it up there, so I'll go down there. Okay. Alright, so what happens if you jump up there? Well, I like how I do it too. <laughs> I move my neck up with it. If you guys have any questions about the game development so far, I'll be right here to okay, answer. If you have any egg. questions for Keisha here, go ahead and ask. Alright, you got, got an egg? The egg disappeared. Oh, well, that means you got something. Yeah, and there's some stuff floating around. Oh, something was added. Look at, do you notice it? What do you notice? Like little babies. Little babies. What are the okay, little? Okay, now that definitely looks like a fist now. So what are those little baby blue balls you're looking at? What do they uh, indicate? Those uh, little blue spheres. Let's see. Doesn't look like anything special is happening. Hmm, well. You know, the wind spirit makes wind, so what? So go ahead and uh, make some wind. Go make another one. See if you can make more wind. <gasps> Whoa! Oh! I bet you can reach that, reach that new area now. Oh, I have to get to the box. Okay, it must be not behind me then. Kaufman R asks, not a tree, but the sticks appearing in this case. Oh! Okay, you're asking about the bamboo spikes. Uh, those are not implemented in the level yet. The someone was just iterated in level one. The bamboo spikes will come again. And I think there's some in the second level. 
<laughs> but not this one. This one was more on iteration of level one to see if the platforms are great for both Maybe different players. Like... All right, so you got two win segments. What are you gonna do? Oh, yeah. You know? Look for my little box. <laughs> I found another box. Oh snap! Okay, I have to go over. There. Okay. Okay. I can get over there. Okay. Oh, no, oh. <laughs> I died again. Hmm. There might be certain parts you can't get to under development. No, okay. Well, that would... <laughs> you know... I know it let me go on the second ledge last time. Hmm. Let's try this again. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, you did do something with your wind. Didn't you have the wind bring you down sometimes? Oh. Oh, oh very smart. Works. Yay. Oh, oh you did... <laughs> A little too much. A little too much. Let's try to go more up and see what happens. All right, very smart. Go ahead and look up when you're doing that, so everyone can see it. Yes, very, very good. Okay, I feel like, and maybe I'll go like lower like that. Oh boy, no, dead. <laughs> death. It's a good try. Death. Yeah, there's a lot of death in there. Not bad, not bad. I like your strategy, your thinking. You're like, okay, okay, I know it's supposed to be here. Okay, oh. this is way too far. So how do you feel having two win segments now? Let's try much more helpful. Okay, much more see. helpful. Yay! That's pretty helpful. Saved you. See, the wind saved you. That's pretty smart. Okay, let's see. I have to find... Okay, I'm going to try to get lower somehow without dying again. I don't know, dying the is terrible. The wind kind of breaks my fall, sort of, so I don't die. It kind of does. Do Do you like that? Do you like that the wind saves you? Yes. Yes. All right. Me too. <laughs> oh boy. I know when my sister plays, she oh, gets no. really um. No. Oh, we fell a little too far. Uh, when my sister plays, she kind of does what you do. She'll actually think about where to go and she'll make the wind tunnels first. She got really clever at it too. So I was, I was she was pretty good at it. Was, no death. Maybe I'll try making them smaller. Oh, making smaller ones. You can do that. I think that's the nice thing about making the winds, huh? You can make them smaller. Yeah. No. Uh, almost. A little too high. A little too high. Okay, you got it. You got it last time. You were pretty close. I think I did them a little bit lower and longer. So in case I go too far out, I can get caught. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You did it. Let's go this way a little bit. Well, you even got a bubble in there. <laughs> yeah, that was my max. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the bubble, um, the bubble right now, um, on the grip, there's a grip on the controller. It'd probably be on your middle finger. Yeah, right there. So she accidentally grips it and, and stuff and it creates the bubble. Um, if you guys have any good suggestions of what you think would be best for the bubble controller, go ahead and tell us. Um, we're always testing it out. Oh. oh, there it is! There was another one. There was another one. I don't know what it went, but I just want a box. I don't care what box it is. Let's get that box. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, yeah. last time you came here, you couldn't reach it. Can you reach it Let's now? Let's try doing a pretend wall jump. A pretend wall. That's a good one. I like your thinking. Oh, thank no! You. Okay. Did you get it? More this I don't like it. I like how I'm trying to look oh, up and just, I'm not even in the game. <laughs> okay. Oh. That did not do anything. Did it not? See if you can, uh... Okay, let's see if I can get on top of it. Hmm. Or maybe this will do something. Okay. Ah, okay. So it looks like the boxes... I don't think it's collision is on, but you did it! You made it! Yay! Yay! All right, I think you have, I think you, I think she collected three, right? Did you collect three of those little black orbs? Yes, three out of five. Okay. I need to find two more. That's right, let's find those two more. I need a little bit of help. All right, she needs some help. If you guys see black orbs, go ahead and t uh, tell That's me and I'll tell her. Thing. Help you out. Where is it? Let's see. I don't see any right now. I'll try turning around. Yeah, you can go ahead and look 360. Oh, that's kind of weird looking. Where is it? Look at that. It looks like a spoon. 
that is, <laughs> that you can't interact with. Uh, um, some of the objects we put in, they kind of leave this little weird stuff in it. Um, but no worries, it will not hurt you and you won't be able to interact with it. Okay, maybe go ahead and look, look to your left a little bit more. I know you looked more right. Go ahead and look around. There's the other box. There's the other box. I we know no it doesn't do anything. I don't know if I want to go back. <laughs> oh, not yet. They will have a purpose in the game. So well, at where... least I know kind of where they are and where, how to get on top of them. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. And for those that are coming in right now, my name is Kelsey Kaufman. I'm the host and producer for Tornado Tower, the game that you're seeing KJ here play. And today is a special Twitch stream for kids. And this is KJ, she's 12 years old, interested in technology and first time using the Oculus and Oculus Touch. And she is a boss at it. Uh, she picks it up really quick. I think you're gonna make some of my friends look bad because <laughs> not everyone is able to pick it up fast. Actually, when my mom played it, she tried to jump in her chair every time she jumped in real life, it, like in the game. Best moment. Don't worry, mom, I still love you. If you're watching. Um, so. I'm going over here. All right, I like, how you, I like how you're thinking. You know, you're thinking of trying to find them. But where are they? The orbs. I know, where are those orbs? Is that another box? Hmm. Uh, don't see any other orbs so far. Guess I'll just have to keep going in my circle. It's okay. an interesting little circle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Good job. Definitely don't want to go down there. <laughs> I will die. No. no. Did you want to try another level? Sure. Okay. I have to double check to see if the other two orbs are in here. I don't know if they are. Um, well, at least I'll feel better that I found the ones that are. <laughs> I know. Hey, you actually made it to the yellow box, too. Is that one? Yay. I don't think that one's collectible. Not yet. That one's not collectible yet. No. But they're a placeholder, and there's a meaning. Um, you will find out soon. No, don't, don't. I think we have the 3D model okay. for what that box is supposed to be. It's just not implemented in the game at the moment. All right, you're gonna see a little little darkness, and okay. you guys will see too. You might see the editor, so go go ahead and stay in your headset. Okay. You are okie dokie. Nope, made you guys look. <laughs> you don't get to see any of it. All right, I'm gonna put you. This one is not iterated, okay? okay. Uh, I took it to the tech museum, and this one may be a little harder, but I want you to check out and check out some other puzzles. If you get stuck, don't worry. Just tell me. This one is still in development. Okay. It's always in development, these levels. Okay, I think this one's correct. So far, so good. So far. I haven't found any problems except for the box. Yeah, you're going to see a little lag, because so I have to make sure our guests come and watch what you're playing, right? Oh, no, I forgot. I don't have both of the orbs. Mm -hmm. Or all three of them. No, so every time you go to a new level, you get to, um, you have to restart your orbs. So every level has their own orbs. It's definitely lagging, all right. Um, give me one moment. I gotta make sure the image is off. There you go. Is that better? Yes, it is. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> so I think last time you guys saw uh, this level, it wasn't colored at, I don't think it was colored at all. Uh, for the girls' day at the Tech Museum in San Jose, I actually did color in the level a little bit. to Because I didn't think the kids would like to have um, kind of seen a white orb. world. Okay, cool. Two. Oh, okay. you did it. <laughs> Seven. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, there's a checkpoint, so I'm gonna have to go up. Okay, okay so so how many wins do you have in here? Um, one so far. Oh no. Oh, I oh. can do that. <laughs> Looks like you have two. So what is it? So you have two, but what's indicating you have two win segments? This little baby, the baby egg. <laughs> the baby egg. What? What's the baby egg? It's a win segment. Yes. He's learning so fast. <laughs> oh no, don't kill me! Okay. Does this one have any music oh, look, in it? Oh, another orb, and this one does have music. This one does have I music. I noticed that. Alright. I hope you guys can hear that song, too. Um, 
I noticed we added a couple more sound effects. Okay, that thing does not like me, so I'm gonna try going up here. Yeah, you can do that, go ahead. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna try using two, make it go a little bit higher. It's always nice when there's two. Yes. So how do you feel, uh, Keisha, when every time you go up a little too high, the camera moves afterwards? Do you like that? Or did you wish it was uh, falling with you at the same time yes. or some, or doing something if else? If it was a little bit more precise, then mm. it'd be a bit better, but I can always look up and kind of see what's going on. So it's not terrible, but it could be better. And when you try, when the camera transitions... Which no, I kill me! I'm on the order! I'm like, right the there. Order. Well, you do have a boomerang and a wind combo you can do. Or you can go, um, oh, like some people do, yeah, and just go in there and go after the boomerang with it. It's okay. No, not the boomerang. Well, it's, so since, hey, you know, we haven't actually put in a tutorial for the wind and the boomerang combo. When, what do you think we should do for that? Do you think we should give them a word, like a little, a comment there? Sure. Sure? How would you introduce it? Platform. Good idea. 
think I'm gonna move my earpiece, so. Oh, surely. Is that a little better? That boom is empty. <laughs> okay. Hang on, I think I might. Okay. Alright. And I'll make sure to check in on this sound for the boom ring. I didn't know it was that loud. But see? All these sticks and stuff. That's why it's game development. And we are gonna publish at least the demo of the game on June 3rd. So overall, what did you think of Tornado Tower? I think it was good, except for the boomerang and then the camera shifting um, upwards mm. when you go up in the natural wind tunnels. That one, that I mean, <laughs> that one didn't really bother me that much. The one that bothered me the most was just the boomerang sound. 
<laughs> oh, was that annoying? Was it was it because it was really loud to your ear? Though it was annoying? loud, so loud. If it was really mm. quiet, I wouldn't really mind. But it was loud and repetitive, and I was like, oh. All right, and this is always good. She people bring up is um, when we're making some of the sounds, we didn't want people to get annoyed. So now we're gonna test it a lot quieter. Like you said, maybe quietness would make it less annoying. Yeah. Um, but that's kind of hard, right? You don't want to get annoying sound in the game. Yeah, because then and, you wouldn't want to play it. And I know you said the the vertical wind tunnels um, with the camera. Did that you didn't like it because you couldn't see, or was there something else? Well, it was just because when you first go up, you can't really see what's going on until it moves up a couple seconds later. You can still look up, but it would be better if it moved as you moved instead of afterwards. That would be more convenient, I think. I see. You're a pretty good play tester. Yeah, and first time with the Oculus, right? Yep. Okay, um, if you guys do have any questions, you can go and ask us right now. And Keisha, I'm so happy you got to come on our stream. It's our kids special. You're, um, I think you're the, I don't know if it's the youngest. The youngest was a five-year-old. Uh, do not let five-year-olds will not fit in the headset that well. I'm just saying right now, <laughs> um, be really difficult in Oculus. <laughs> uh, but w it was okay with you, right? I mean, you're only were you only able to see the game. You weren't able to see outside, like like under your nose. You couldn't see anything. Unless I looked down. I mean, I could kind of see it. It wasn't so like I couldn't see anything from like here down, but I could still pretty much see. If I look down a little bit, I can obviously see more, but yeah. I can still see a little bit beneath myself in the game, the character. All right, that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. All right, um, so just don't forget Tornado Fan Nados, that if you haven't yet, follow and subscribe us on this Twitch stream, at this Twitch channel, Tornado Tower of the Game. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter at The Tornado Tower and on YouTube, the of course, Tornado Tower. <laughs> and this video, as long as our others, are also uploaded on YouTube as well as our Twitch. Expect a video of this one coming either tomorrow or sometime on the weekend. And I'm so glad you get, you get to come here. 12 years old, you're gonna tell your friends, you got to play some VR games. Yeah, yeah I'd be jealous if I was a kid playing <laughs> VR. Um, Kaufman R says, good host. Thank you, Kaufman R. You're an awesome person to watch the stream. Okay, is there anything you want to tell your tell the guests today? Not that I can think of. They should definitely go to the event and try it out a little bit. A couple minor things, but it can be fixed. I like that. A couple minor things, she says. That's right, we got to implement and fix stuff, yeah. huh? That's why it's game it's development. development. All right, and for those that didn't see my announcement earlier, on June 3rd, it should be a Saturday, uh, at the UC Santa Cruz Extension, uh, the Masters Games, which is which is this game is being made in this master program, undergrad and maybe even PhD in certain art majors from UC Santa Cruz campus will be coming to our extension in Santa Clara. If you guys are in a neighborhood, it's free to public. Definitely come and play some awesome games like Tornado Tower with its demo coming out. It will be published online also by June 3rd. Look out for that. Also, next Wednesday at Fremont at the university called 42. It literally is 4-2. <laughs> um, I thought that was a kind of cool name. I wasn't expecting 42. Uh, Tornado Tower will also be there to demo the game there. So if you guys are in Fremont or in the area, it's free to play. Go ahead and come meet us there. Get to meet the teammates and other, maybe um, another team coming with us is Control Shift VR, which was Dylan's team. And you get to see their game also. So I hope you guys had a fantastic time watching our a little event with our guest, Keisha. And I hope to see you all next Friday at 7 p.m. Don't forget. Bye. Bye.